Hughes Bridge today um, in Suffolk near Minsmere. And um, we're here at the Minsmere New Cut um, fishing. Magnet fishing. Wow. Yes. And where are we going later? We've a bomb. We, we have, we've already caught one bomb. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we, we might pop into the Eels Foot Inn at Eels Bridge. And then we're going to go do some sea fishing down at Cove Hive, hopefully. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so um, hope you enjoy this. This is a bit weird what we're doing, uh, it's a bit different, but uh, yeah, we'll see. So I've caught something. Oh yeah, it's actually trying to get something. Oh. I think you got it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you got something. Oh, oh my oh. god, it's a bomb. <laughs> What's that? It's a fucking bomb. <laughs> What's that? There's a bit of pipe. It's a bomb. Oh, there's a leech on it. Where? Oh, nice. Old Look at all this shit coming off. This is an old track the pipe for you. Yeah. Pipe I, I remember these old heavy pipes when I used to be out on the fields of Eels Bridge with my track. What did it get you? Are you filming it, Lewis? I am. Nice. What's this? I've never found one of them. Oh, right. Oh, wow. Hang on. We're gun. just zooming out. That's a gun. That's an old bit of gun. Gack. That's an old bit of gun, I tell you. Oh, oh my mate. god. Tell me what that is. Pipe bomb? Yeah, another pipe bomb. That's a weird chunk of metal, isn't it? That's a bit of a spitfire. That was a blank on that occasion. Today we're at Cove Hive on the Suffolk coast. Where else? We've fished here a couple of times before and it's been very successful. You know, with carbon and bass and sole and all sorts. And um, we thought we'd come down on this lovely spring day in April and uh, see if we can catch a lovely spring coven or anything else. Bass, you know, maybe even a smooth hound if we are so lucky. I don't know about that, but um, we'll see. And we caught some nice sized Ian Beals as well last time we were here. So you never know what might show up here. It's a uh, fantastic piece of beach and um, you just never know what's gonna, gonna come out. So um, yeah, we're really pleased to be back down here. It's been a while since our last video. And um, yeah, so um, just to let you know, we've got some fresh blacks, uh, fresh lug, uh, squid and even a bit of crab as well. We've managed to get our hands on some crab. Um, Peeler crab, that is, and um, we'll see if they can bring out some big fat gods or anything else that's out there. So, yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, we'll do our best for you and we'll see what happens. So, yes, lovely, thank you very much. Until next time, see you later. Bye. I've caught cod, so first cast while setting up. Thank you very much. A nice, nice spring codling. I haven't had always oh, got crabs in this house, has he? Yeah, oh, look at that. I'll get that out. Get this. Well, you can. No, he gets a shot of it on the camera. Can you see that? There you go. So he's 
So Will spotted a bike when I was past my other rod out, and then I looked up and went slack. Oh, they actually are crabs. We've literally been here like five minutes. Yeah, literally lug on such a tiny hook as well. It's like yeah, a cool. flat fish rig. Wait, wait, wait. It's shrimp in there as well. That's it. You're yeah, taking uh, food from its mouth. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy with that, so... Yeah, but it's good bait. The last one I caught was before we were even doing the video, so... I've literally just casted my own rod out. Wait, hold on. Nice beer. Hey, I think it's thrown up. Is it? Yeah, it's thrown up. Oh, yeah, what's that? Ugh. A little dab or something? Let him yeah, so it's back. thrown up. So we'll get a picture and we'll get them right back. Nice. Well done, Lewis. Thank you. There's something there. Waiting. Waiting. Well, still better than nothing. Yeah. On the first cast. Well, it's fishing hour and we're back with a couple of whiting. Just on that lug again. Ooh. Nice sandy whiting for you. Yeah, <laughs> they're definitely whiting. Well, you can tell because of this. No, skin. that's a haddock. Yeah, haddock, obviously. So we'll get these two back. Cove Hive whiting, boy. Cove Hive whiting. Lovely day for it. Who knows what it could be? Who knows? Oh, I can feel wobbling. Oh, yeah. Whiting! Is that my line? That's the right one. Yeah. Doesn't feel like much. Might have, might have missed it. Might have missed it. Doesn't feel like. I think so. Doesn't feel like much at all. Is that on? Plug. Definitely a bomb. I diddled and daddled too long. Double whiting. Wow. Double whiting. And they're going back. Goodbye. Deal or no deal? Waiting.
I'm preparing a peeler crab. What I've done, peeled all the legs off the crab, and now I'm peeling the legs. You just pinch the shell, and then you just take the shell off the crab, and then you get left with a big juicy bit of skin. And then you bind it on with lug or squid or anything by itself. Really good for the spring codlin, but I'm not sure if, it, if we're going to get another one today. But we've still got some more time. We've got like three hours, four hours left. So there's always a chance of a codlin on the ebb. Just at the top of tide here. If it's too, too, too hard to crack, you just Take some pliers at the edge, crack it like this, and then continue with your fingers. Then you've got a floppy thing. Really good for tipping off lug baits and whatnot. And if you go ras fishing for micro species, keep these frozen, either as whole legs or whatever, uh, like with the shell on or without the shell. Uh, and yeah, you get wrasse on them, micro cod, micro whiting, micro form max, micro soles, micro micros, gobies, dogfish, micro dogfish. Um, yeah, it's just a good bait for all, but it can either be peeler crab, fishes it, its bum off, or it can be no peeler crab getting a bite um, yeah yeah so when you're waiting for your bite just knock up a couple crabs and uh, then you're ready to get the bait out quite quickly I mean that's quite a nice bite isn't it oh that's a big yeah that's probably yeah that's a bite go on yeah, Theo go down there in your stupid ocean scarn I think it's a bite I uh, might just be white. I think today, I'm afraid. Black shuck, and then I caught this little smooth hound pup on some fresh lug. So hopefully, it's bigger thing, it's bigger cousins are out there or something. I don't know. First of the year for the Suffolk Fisherman, isn't it? Right? It is, I think so, yeah. yeah. No, it is. So we'll get him back and hopefully there's some more out there. Hear that? Choop, 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 ba, ba, da, ba, ba, ba. Hear it? It's one of my favourite birds. You often see them and they just sort of float up and hover and they're just making that noise. They're choop, 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 choop. And I don't know what noise, I don't know what sort of bird that is really. You often find them they're on orphan nests as well and and they're really small ones. But it, you've got to just try and follow the noise of it and look and see if you can see it hovering and just chuba jabba jubbering along. But I can't see it though. I think it's in front of the sun, see. So. Let me see. But I do love that noise. Lovely, lovely sound. Beer review time, we've got a Mosaic Pale Ale from Adnams. Supposedly brewed just over there. But I don't know about that. And um, made with Mosaic pop, Pops? Pops, I do believe. And it, the malts are pale ale malts. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, so, um, not much to say really. Just a mosaic pale ale. Mm. I can taste the mosaics. Brings me back to Rhodes in Greece where I went to see all the mosaics. That's about it. Here's another oh, one. While, while catching this, they're filming the new season of Detectorists up there, so you might have seen the footage by now, but 
We'll get this little guy back. We're gonna give it till eight o'clock, so last chance saloon. Give it half an hour, see what happens. And then join us for a bit more magnet fishing, supposedly. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that first segment. It was really interesting, really good. Hello there. We're packing up, Patrick, because we haven't been catching much. There's also rain 30 miles away. Apparently, Port St. Louis. There's also a tornado. What? Yeah, the weather's closing in on us, and um, there's there's reports, there's reports of uh, 100 mile an hour winds and um, acid rain. On this one. So we're gonna get out of here before before that affects us. So yeah, so yeah, that's that's our plan. Yeah, Where are we going? Awesome. Oh, we're going to do some magnet fishing because that's always good to do in the acid rain. <laughs> and um, yeah, I don't know what I'm on about, but yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully, the next one will be a bit more abundant. Today we're here at our favourite spot, um, Ipswich, Yarmouth Road, um, near the Sainsbury's on Hadley Road. And I think Will has got himself a hookup. Life is good. Shopping cart. Come on then, say something. Hello. Turn that torch off. Uh, Species today is going to be metal, ferro metals, um, and anything else, maybe some nickel. Torch species. We'll see. So, um, something there. Will is about uh, this is first cast saloon, and uh, what, what is it going to be? Whiting, do you reckon? No, it's going to be knife copper carp. Oh, it's a knife! <laughs> is it? Nothing. No, there's, there's a bit of metal there. That. Yeah. Lovely, lots of metal. We should be wearing like heavy duty gloves. In case yeah. You get, like, <laughs> right, Will's on. We think he's got a copper carp. Copper carp? Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Look up. Be a netting, would he? Here, get my net. Wait, be a talk to What the oh. fuck? You've got some... Nothing. Oh. Right. Yeah, Come on, we've got a... We've even found some metal pipes in... There you yeah, go. Yeah, you, you've definitely disturbed some. So Will has disturbed some bubbles. He has disturbed some bubbles. I don't like... Look at all the bubbles coming up. What a swamp down. creature. I reckon if you just keep pulling, you'll release it from whatever is under the sediment. Under the substrate. I don't know, but that was a bit weird. Theo has been sifting in the substrate. <laughs> yeah, look, it's that one. Oh, yeah, Copper carp. Um, tin tench. Yeah, look, more bubbles. I've heard of that one. This, you're naming more than the <laughs> Eat my chip. <laughs> Watch out, Lewis. Oh, it came off. Oh. 
Oh, what is that? It's getting what closer, is isn't it? What is that? You have a problem like a pipe. And do you continue? Yeah. Oh, I'm still watching something. Oh, 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 oh. What is it? What is it? It's like, oh, it looked like a crowbar. No way. No, well, please. It's not a crowbar. It's not a crowbar. The crew went all over there. Oh. Oh. oh my god! Oh, the fishing room. No oh way! My god. <laughs> no way! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes! What? Just something fishermen have gone magnet fishing. <laughs> and caught a fishing caught rod. A fishing <laughs> rod. That is great. Wait, wait, what brand is it? You take it home and do a fishing rod yeah, restorers. Johnny, we've got Jono a new rod. Yeah. <laughs> so Will thinks he's got a, uh, a, a fish. fish. I was about to say a fish. No, it might not be anything. Oh. <laughs> I can't tell. Fio. What? Oh, you see all oh. them minnows? Where? No! I had it! No! Well, that's something you don't want to get stuck in there. Nope. Oh. Oh, it's like a tree or something, isn't it? I don't know what it's that was. It's a big thing. Now we might pick up dead bodies as well. That's true. That would be lovely. I think that'd be quite interesting.